you're not able to get into your creative flow if you're constantly distracted and checking social media. A lot of great things in life, a lot of great pieces of art that people have produced was a matter of deep work. y'all doing man today is monday and if you haven't watched the last video or if you did watch the last video let me say that probably realize i'm still wearing the same shirt and it's because it's the same day i want to start just vlogging weekly and just chiming in through random moments throughout the week and just sharing what's got what's on my mind having trouble deciding what to eat before i go work out but the thing is we don't really have anything to eat so i'm eating cotton, can cotton candy grapes do I just push through and not have the best workout? Or do I just eat my finger? <laughs> <laughs> they think they're going on a walk, but really daddy's going to the gym. Do you want to go to the gym? You want to go to the gym? Oh my gosh, you want to get a workout, mama? You could probably use one. caved and picked up a little sandwich. I just couldn't say no to a sweet onion chicken teriyaki six inch sub. Mmm, about to grow up. Hey, you wanna go outside? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Y'all hear my meditating music on in the background? <laughs> I've kind of grown to really just love the Indian flute whatever it is that they're playing. Like I could listen to that all day and be completely fine with it. All right, let's go, come on. Just posted a video on why I took a break from YouTube, which is what I recorded yesterday. And I realized that there's this like kind of pattern that I keep going through where like every six months or so, I have to like really take a step back and reflect in the search of just finding more answers, I think. It helps me personally to just talk about those things and get it out. That way I find more clarity within my own thoughts. The goal is to just get on this cycle and not feel the need to take a step back and just already have that clarity and just keep producing and moving forward and doing my thing. All right, girls, y'all ready to go in? <coughs> All right, baby, daddy's gotta go. We're about to head over to a little meeting. And then also after that, I'm gonna go meet up with some of my dad's side of the family um, to have like an early Thanksgiving with my grandma. But I'm not gonna take my camera with me. If I document anything, it'll just be on my iPhone. Grandma, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> say hi. 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 <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, you know. <laughs> well, having long hair, you just gotta, gotta do what the women do. They be taking good care of their hair, so I'm gonna take take some notes from what they be doing. That's all I'm gonna say. So recently, uh, this guy from this company, it's kind of hard to explain it, but it seems like this company is sort of like a stock video, stock video website where companies can come and request certain B-roll from videos that you upload and you can make money from it. The company is called Catch and Release. For all you creatives out there, this could be something worth looking into. Maybe you might have some intriguing content for some corporate company to use in one of their campaigns. So just food for thought. Food for thought. I randomly came across these photos that we took in February during the blackout. And tell me why. <laughs> For some reason, me and Caroline just looked the happiest as can be. And we had no power. We barely had food. We were feeding the birds our leftovers. We pretty much had nothing. And we looked happy as hell. <laughs> kind of miss that little tent and I miss that place. Miss the white vibes, like the white walls and the modern feel to it. It's so warm here, which I'm not complaining about anymore. I don't, I don't but like it's the, so the, warm. The cabinets, like, I feel like we're back in the 2000s or something. It's a little old school. Really, this is our fault. <laughs> it really is. I'm actually. just kidding. Ashley was like, I don't have a good feeling about it. I don't think we should do it. And you were right. <laughs> it's 
okay. This place isn't that bad. Choose to be grateful for what we got and grateful for learning our lesson so that we can make a better decision on the next place. We're not gonna be here forever. Baby girl's sick. Yeah. It don't feel good. She's sick. I'm sick. Fuck! So I just finished reading this book. It's called Deep Work by Cal Newport. He basically sums up how our generation uh, is so attached to the internet. And we're so attached to the internet in ways where we think that it's actually good to be constantly checking email, constantly checking Twitter, constantly refreshing Instagram. What this does, this relationship that we have to internet, to the internet, uh, prohibits us from doing deep work. It, it's almost impossible to produce quality work without getting deep. And by getting deep, all this means is for you know you creatives out there is just getting in your creative flow. Um, you're not able to get into your creative flow if you're constantly distracted and checking social media, searching for that dopamine hit. It was a good reminder, and also I've never really thought about it that much, but yeah. A lot, of, a lot of great things in life, a lot of great pieces of art that people have produced was a matter of deep work. You think of Picasso, he didn't have any internet, nor do I think he would be really involved in the internet. He was just involved into his deep work. And that's really inspiring because when you think about it, if you were just to apply this deep focused work for a long period of time, it's almost inevitable that you're going to get somewhere. No matter how long it takes, if you just have this habit of giving yourself a couple hours of deep work every single day, maybe excluding the weekends or whatever, if you were to just be able to apply this deep work to your lifestyle, only great things can happen. For those that are interested, I definitely suggest reading this book. It honestly was life-changing. For the last video that I put out, all that time that I had to spend reflecting, this was the perfect book to be reading during that process because it really just answered a lot of my questions for me and it honestly simplified my thoughts a lot on what my purpose is and what I really wanna do with my life and what kind of work I wanna create and that sort of thing. So go check it out. This guy is amazing. But today is Friday and this is this is a week in my life. This is just gonna be how it is. So I think this is a good time to close the video out. Thanks for getting to this part of the video since I know that you're listening right now. I really appreciate you for sticking through and do me a favor and comment down below and just tell me what day of the week would you like to see these weekly vlogs? Because I'm in this point where it's like, if I do Monday through Friday, then I have to post on Saturday? Or do I just post the following Monday? Or do I post like in the middle of the week? You know, what, what, what would you like to see? Let me know in the comments, just literally put the day of the week. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. And on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and go do my deep work so that I can enjoy myself for the weekend. I hope you all stay safe out there, and thanks for watching again. See you in the next one. Peace.